rockin' here with DJ Irie. You know, in the advertising world, the Super Bowl of commercials is a Super Bowl commercial. Chevrolet dedicated one of their spots in Sunday's game to a competition, finding the best idea from college students across the country. This was serious business with a lot at stake. The winner created and produced their own Super Bowl spot, and we'll see it aired during the game on Sunday. It was a chance of a lifetime, and they made the most of it. When Chevy announced their Super Bowl ad challenge, the response was overwhelming. Over 800 submissions poured in from across the country. Some good. And the last scene is all Chevy's red, white, and blue to make it American. And some, not so much. We've got a full-blown alien spot here. Uh, yeah, but it's one lame idea. It is. Eventually, five teams were selected as finalists. They're going to advertising boot camp for the weekend. I still don't even know what to say. I'm shell-shocked, right? They were flown to Detroit with a faculty advisor for an intense four-day job interview. The closest thing I've ever been to an advertising thing is watching it on uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. It's amazing the break these kids are going to have. Their spot will be in a Super Bowl. It will get noticed. There's one thing we didn't touch on yet, though. What? what? So how popular this is going to make us with the ladies. <laughs> After a quick welcome, the teams were brought to one of Chevy's most trusted ad agencies. Great to see you this morning. I'd like to introduce Bill Ludwig. He's the uh, chief creative officer here. They pitched their ideas to the ad pros for some tough love and guidance. Then the cobalt completely disappears behind the wave. Just imagine yourself out there with your shirt off washing out of this car. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, what better way to show the identity of each car than to have it just explode out of each car? I think they were impressed because they didn't expect students to come here and already know most of the programs. As it turned out, there was still a lot of work to do. The one problem that I would have is it's like a kajillion dollars to produce. What brand statement are you trying to make with this? I would push it. It's almost like I have to start from scratch again. I'm definitely overwhelmed. With two days to go, the five teams were given all the agency's resources to refine their ideas for their big moment. It kind of felt like we had jumped from the student level to actually being in the real world. It's like a dream come true to tour, to test drive cars. My job here is pretty much help you guys along whatever you guys need to do in order to pitch the idea. What we do here, we build storyboards. It's cool having people work for you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. The hours were long, and the pressure was enormous. We're not sure if we want to go that route anymore. We're going to be working for hours on this, and we're probably going to be exhausted. Being trapped in these four walls right now, we need to get out, regroup, and come back and attack it. After 60 hectic hours of preparation, it was time for the final pitch, this time to the entire Chevy advertising team. First up was San Jose State, whose spot featured a Chevy that turns a blind date beast Ugly Betty. <laughs> into a blind date beauty. The tilt of the seat goes a lot more vertical. We see her get a lot better uh, posture. The lumbar support kicks in right here. Chest extends outward. That spot I thought was really funny. Really put a smile on your face. The tech-savvy team from SCAD infused Chevys with a pop-up book effect. It all fold out into the environment of the outdoor culture. Pulls out, and the urban culture pop it up. The dynamic duo from Elon University thought Chevys could turn everyday suburbanites into car-chasing canines. But they started to take on the characteristics and actions of dogs. They're chasing the Chevy HHR, and they've got this passion in their eyes. The pack is behind this guy. He's driving along, and you see these three young men. Go get it, the voiceover says. I think this spot has a high potential to be a great Super Bowl spot for Chevy. Then Washington University turned the highway into a killer wave. The vehicle zooms right out. The cobalt has escaped the power of the wave. It's not a drive. It's a trip. I think it would be a visually awesome spot. It would just be a matter of whether or not it's affordable. And Katie, a freshman from Wisconsin, cracked the panel up with her outrageous take on the classic car wash. They're provocatively washing this Chevy in the middle of the winter. And then you have the brilliant man who starts to lick the window because he's so in love with this car. With the last done, all that remained was to pick a winner. And the winner of the Chevy Super Bowl Challenge ad contest. 
still to come. Super Bowl commercial sneak previews. And is it Mean Joe or Lamb Streaker? Stick around as we announce the greatest Super Bowl commercial.